One important detail in the success of Korean players with Murata Senagi compared to other countries is that they're good at relaxing their lapel hand. For example, Europeans grip too tight their own grip makes it very difficult to turn in and to get the, the proper position. With a tight grip, you'll have a difficult time putting your right elbow towards Uke's armpit. Furthermore, when you lead with your elbow while twisting your body, your elbow becomes stiff and your attempts will look like this. Therefore, gripping the lapel tightly is not helping you. It's actually stopping your body from entering properly. If you grip too tightly before entering the throw, uh, you stop yourself from getting into the proper position. This is really the issue. Example, European players are gripping the lapel with too much strength and uh, you immobilize your own wrist. Now this makes it really hard to twist your body in. I will teach you how to relax your grip to make space and to enter with your whole body and not just your arms. First, create space and make Uke lean forward. Then look at my wrist. Initiate the entry with your legs. Now you must understand this crucial difference. If you're failing at Sienagi, like judokas from other countries or beginners, you're likely focusing on turning in with your lapel hand. This is why you're not having success with Murote Sienagi. I would like to draw your attention to my lapel hand. You must relax your grip and have mobility in your wrist. If you don't relax your lapel hand, you're going to get stuck. Uh, the secret here is to relax the wrist. Relax your wrist, create space, and initiate the entry with your legs. One, two, three. Pull with your hands, look, and rotate. And then enter. One, two, pull, lift your lapel hand. Only then you get in. One, two, three. Watch carefully the space between his lapel and his chest and between our bodies and you enter with your whole body. Now contrast this with trying to enter with your elbow in first. The space uh, gets narrower. Now if you try to put your elbow in Uke's armpit, it'll be blocked here. It's a very common mistake to try turning the arms in first. As a result, there is no space for the body to go underneath. You will see this commonly in matches, all stemming from not relaxing your grips and resulting in attempts like this over and over and over. You must relax your wrist enough to create space so that your body can get underneath. Now, the most important point here is that when you hold the gi, you must relax your arm. If not, it's going to be difficult for you. Let me demonstrate the correct way again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, why do we have this tendency to grip so tightly with this lapel hand? Because we think we need to pull him off balance. So we pull the uke with our arms, causing us to hold onto him too tightly. As a result, we can't turn in. There is no space. As a beginner, we learn to pull and off-balance uke forward first, and then we enter. However, you can off-balance uke by relaxing your arms and creating space and leaning backwards with your whole body. Your head becomes your axis of rotation. 
One, two, three. Relax your arm and let your head be an axis. And then your back leg initiates the movement of the entry. It is critical that you understand this principle. One, two, three. Entering with your arms first is not natural. Please don't do it that way. Two, one, two, three. I want to emphasize that you should not force your arms in stiffly but bend smoothly like a bow. Both your body as well as your arms should be bent like a bow. It's important to understand this concept. Besides the hands, another common mistake that athletes make is the position of their stomach. Their stomach is closed like this. They grip tightly and close their stomach. You must avoid this. Open your arms and your stomach as well. Open and off balance uke by moving your balance backwards. Two, three. Okay, relaxed wrist. Don't grip tight. Relax. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Maintain that lean and rotate through the axis that's going through your head. In this way, you can move in and out smoothly. However, beginners and European judokas have a tendency to go the other way. They focus too much on inserting their right arm into Uke's armpit. As a result, there's no space for the body to get in. To succeed, you must focus on moving your body and legs first, not the arms, leg and body. Not arms, but legs. Relax your arm and then initiate the entry with your legs. One, two, watch my back leg here. One, two, three. If you follow this method, you can throw softly and smoothly. Using your power with stiff arms uh, doesn't work well. Relax that lapel hand, move your stomach forward, and then move your legs in, and then you'll be able to do it smoothly.